Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So a couple of videos ago I told you about uh, route filtering and uh, effects of uh, route leaks and route hijacking. You can check that video above. So when I was making this video I got an email from Google and uh, this is what the email said that uh, Google will be announcing prefixes through its AS 15169139190 and 139070 now instead of the earlier prefixes that they were being announced were about 600 or 700 odd google is asking now to change your prefix threshold to 15000 for ipv4 and 10000 for ipv6 also google had sent another email stating that they are now going to implement an IRR data check on your prefixes. What does it mean? So if you saw my video, I explained what the IRR check meant. But if you did not understand it then, don't worry about it. I'm going to explain it today practically. Before we get into that, this is the support page that Google had tagged in their email. You can go to this page and all the details are here. So one of the details here is if you are pairing with Google Fresh or you're already paired, you can see what are IRR objects and how do you update them. So if you want to check what uh, your IRR is going to respond when Google queries it, you can go to your uh, terminal and do a who's check on your prefixes. It's very simple. And basically what Google is looking for is this your ASN. So in case your, uh, your prefix is tied to some other AS and is being advertised by some other AS now, this is going to lead to a problem. You can further go and check it on uh, RADB. So RADB.net and uh, you can query here. You can check uh, your prefix what's the announcement and origin is is 134021 so now if you go to uh, looking glass and check your uh, bgp route so this should come as same as what your radb states so it's 134021 that's okay but in case you are routing through someone else what you need to do is clearly mentioned in the document you need to set a as set object in your irr or um, you can set it uh, you need to set it in radb or you need to set it through apnic or iron whatever you are whatever the registrar that you are hooked on to this is what it, it essentially means so three checks you need to do one if you have restricted the number of prefixes to say n you need to increase it to for ipv4 to 15000 and for ipv6 to 10000 number two if you had bought some ips from somewhere else and you have not updated the who is record of the as number there you need to set the record straight now so that there is no problems happening and three if you're transiting through someone to reach to google then you need to set the as set in case you're not doing it you might face a problem after 30th of june so in case you have any problems you can reach out to me you can reach out to the community below somebody will be able to help you out thank you for watching this video let me know what you think and please do subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates thank you bye bye